this is the male reproductive system here. We usually start from here. This is the testes. Around the testes, this is the scrotum. The skin around the testes. And uh, inside of this skin, in the skin, the surrounding um, of the of the testes is a muscle that's called the dartos muscle. Dartos muscle, when it contract, it's going to push the testes up. So this is the dartos muscle around here. Here are the testes. This is the epididymis. And this whole structure, the whole thing here, this is called the spermatic cord. Inside of the spermatic cord, you have the arteries, the red, the, the blue, which is the vein, and the third structure, which you can see here, it's, it's just hiding underneath the arteries and veins, and this is called the vas difference or ductus difference. The ductus difference starts from the epididymis and goes up inside of those. You don't see them, but it's, you don't see it, but it's going to exit from here. And if you follow more, it's going to go down here and go to the prostate, and it's going to open to the ejaculatory duct inside of the prostate, you don't see it in this model, but it's, it's open to the ejaculatory duct. And this is the seminal vesicle that's also going to join, to open to the ejaculatory duct. Ejaculatory duct is going to open to the prosthetic urethra. Um, right here, this is the structure of the penis. This part right here, this is the root of the penis, also known as the bulb. And this is the shaft, the whole part here. And this is the glands, this part right here. And the penis consists of, here is one, this part right here, this is a corpus cavernosum, another corpus cavernosum is here, and so you have two corpora cavernosa, and this one right here is a corpus spongiosum, inside which uh, runs the urethra, the penile urethra right here. Okay, here's another model of the male reproductive system, and you can see here, this is the prostate, this is the urogenital diaphragm right here that contain the membranous urethra and this part right here is the corpus cavernosum you have two of them one on each side this is one of them and the other one on the other side and right here this whole thing here the blue one this is the corpus spongiosum you have one corpus spongiosum and this is one of the corpora cavernosa and there's another one on the other side right here this is a glans penis right here and this is the shaft right here, this is the shaft, and um, this part right here is a glans penis. If, if it is covered by skin or forced skin, this is not circumcised, and if it is removed, and you can see underneath, if you can see it, the, um, the glans penis that's red and darker color, um, it should be circumcised. So circumcision is basically just removing the prepus or, or removing the forced skin and uncovering a, um, the glans penis. Uh, if you look at another model here, this is showing you, if you look at this, this is the urethra. Here is the internal urethral sphincter. This is the prostatic urethra inside the prostate. This is the ejaculatory duct that's draining both the vas deferens and the seminal vesicle. And if you follow this part right here, small part, this is the membranous urethra because it's inside of this membrane or inside of this membranous muscle that's inside the urogenital diaphragm. If you follow more, this is the penile urethra or the spongy urethra. Um, this structure right here, this is the root or the bulb of the penis, and this is the urethra, and this structure, number 64, that's in between the bulb and the urethra, so they call it the bulbo-urethral gland, or the Cooper's gland, same thing, bulbo-urethral or Cooper gland in between the bulb and the urethra. If you look at this model right here, this is obviously the skin of the scrotum. And if you see these muscles here, these are important muscle, that's called the cremaster or cremasteric muscle. So the difference between this model and this is this is um, uh, showing you what's deep inside. So this is opened more, testes, epididymis, and here are the different layers that's surrounding it. So this is the skin of the scrotum right here. And the muscle is here, but it's not showing much, but you can see it better here. So the whole red, white, all the whole thing here is the free master or the cremasteric muscle. And when these muscles contract, they are going to push the testes up. So if, it, if the weather is cold or something, it's going to contract and push the testes up 
toward the body, closer to the body, where, where it is um, warmer, and if it is cold, and if it is warm, or if the temperature is higher, it's going to relax and just let the, the testes go away from um, uh, the, um, the body. And uh, if you follow this, that this part right here, and, and it's getting covered here, this is the, the spermatic cord, and the spermatic cord contain inside here, you have the, if you look at the other model here, this, the red is, a, is the arteries, uh, testicular arteries, and the blue is the testicular vein that's making a plexus here that's called the pampiniform plexus of veins, and inside more, it's not showing, it's inside, but if you follow through the spermatic cord, you can actually see it extinct here, which is this, this part right here. So if you look here, it, it was inside this, and it's just when it gets in here, it's hiding, and it should be going. It's it should be starting from here from the epididymis and going inside. It's hiding, 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 and start to appear at this point. So this is, and this is the whole continuation of it, and this is the vas difference or the ductus difference. Same thing. This is the ureter, and this is the, the, the ductus difference or vas difference. And if you follow the vas difference to the back, here, here is the vas difference, and, and this is the seminal physical. Both of them are going to open to this, which is the prostate. If you look at this smaller right here, these are the two testes. This one is showing the uh, cream master muscle or cream asteric muscle and this is after removing the cream asteric muscle to, to see what's inside so this is the testes epididymis and this is the arteries and veins this is a cut section after removing uh, the, the, this part of the, of the penis and this is showing you clearly this one corpus here which is this one here that's the, called the corpus spongiosum and two other bodies here, these are the corpus cavern, corpora cavernosa. So you have one, two, you have two corpora cavernosa and these corpora cavernosa contain arteries and arterioles that when it gets um, full with blood dilates and this is going to make erection. These for the corpora cavernosa. While the corpus spongiosum is only one and it's in the middle, it should contain the penial or spongy urethra and penile because it's inside the penis and spongy because it's inside the, corp the corpus spongiosum which is part of the penis. So inside you see two corpora cavernosa and one corpus spongiosum.